going to Japan. <laughs> I am going to Japan with my partner for the first time in July and I'm actually not heaps excited yet. Don't get me wrong, like, I bloody love my partner and we are adventurous, we're spontaneous, we're a little bit last minute for both of us which is interesting. I am looking forward to my trip in theory but there's a lot of stuff I need to prepare in order for me to actually be excited. <laughs> Long story short, I am a small business owner, loud and proud. I run a creative business, a music studio in the heart of Sydney. Well, in the heart of the eastern suburbs. In the heart? Maybe south. South in the eastern suburbs. Shout out to everyone in Maroubra um, and in Vaucluse too. <laughs> There's a lot on my mind, a lot on my plate, and a lot I need to figure out before I can actually feel a glimpse of excitement. Don't get me wrong, like I've been binging the Japan YouTube vlogs and following heaps of like Tokyo Explores, Instagram and TikTok pages and things like that. But yeah, I am, I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm honestly so grateful to have the most amazing people in my team. I think the more people that I meet in life, the more I realize that it's actually quite difficult to meet good people. And so for that, I'm really grateful. Yeah, I think the thing that I'm probably most worried about is up until this point, I've been juggling hats like a bloody clown. Now when I say clown, I mean a clumsy clown who takes on more than she can handle and does, uh, I won't say mediocre, I would say average does an average job at everything she puts her hands to, which it doesn't sit right with me. But I think I'm at a point now where it is impossible for me to leave without delegating because the business is growing and the systems and processes need to be more streamlined. I think the way I was running things was good for like one or two people, but now our team's probably not 10 yet, but closer to 10. The other side of the coin is that I have a cat. She's very particular. <laughs> Uh-oh, Mother Rose, uh-oh. So I'll have to figure that out. There's a lot to sort out and I think I'm feeling a little more stressed and excited at the moment, but I know that things will change once I'm on the plane and once I get this work stuff and cat stuff sorted. When people ask how my mental state is, it's been almost a year since my partner and I have been living together. We met during COVID. Yeah, right before one of the big lockdowns happened and we became a pretty old couple quickly. Having met during lockdown, we did what everyone else does. I mean, Netflix and chill, coastal walks, hanging out with the cat, playing Wordle. So yes, we were a very old couple and I think we're kind of old souls in nature. Since lockdown has ended, we've been a little more adventurous and it's honestly been really nice. From an old Netflix and chill couple to an old adventure couple, we are making moves, guys. My boyfriend looks like a cool guy. I'm not saying that he's not cool. I mean, he's really cool. I mean, he plays soccer and he's good looking. He's an amazing hunk of spunk, but he is into gaming. By the way, there's nothing wrong with gaming. It's just that my partner does not look like a gamer, apparently. And funnily enough, he plays a lot of like Japanese Street Fighter games. And when we hung out with my siblings, we'd go to like the arcade where there's heaps of like Japanese games. During the lockdown, we started watching Japanese anime. And we're currently finishing this series on Netflix called Midnight Diner, which is about a guy who owns a diner that opens at midnight. And he cooks anything that his customers want. It's a funny series, it's very quaint. From the food to the anime, we are obsessed. And so we're so keen to go on our first trip together. Five weeks is a big chunk of time and we're probably gonna see a lot. I've always been in the vibe, right? As in like, we're drinking the alcohol, listening to the music. Oh, come How we've organized this trip is we've actually gone away and done our own research. 
I'm more on YouTube and Instagram and also been looking through the Lonely Planet Japan travel guide. Jamie, on the other hand, has done his research on Reddit and travel websites and things like that as well. And then we've come together with these little colorful thingies. <laughs> what do you call them again? To pin where we want to go on the maps and we've changed our minds a million times. Like this and then do a transition. Oh, you just covered it. <laughs> I mean, we've booked our flight tickets, but we have not booked anything yet. So that's to come. All in all, regardless of how organized or unorganized we are, we are just really looking forward to spending some time together and make sure that we can actually enjoy life. Life will always be challenging, but the company that we have can make it all the better. So from roller coasters at Super Mario World, Harry Potter World, to eating fresh food, we are so grateful that we can have this opportunity to head off. And I know that we'll sort out the business, we'll sort out the cat, and we'll come back in the blink of an eye. And so I'm trying my best not to be a stress head and to be excited and grateful and grounded. Wish me luck. I can't wait to show you guys our trip. I can't wait to give you guys some travel tips as well. Can't wait to experience the culture shock even if I'm Asian. I am quite like, you know, I'm Australian. So I think it'd be really interesting to experience a beautiful, collectivist, respectful and tech savvy kawaii culture. Anyway, that's all from me guys. Have an awesome day and yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. And if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button because we are going to be trying to post vlogs weekly. I say this very lightly because I know how much work it goes into editing. So we're going to try our absolute best to keep you guys updated and be sharing on my socials. So yeah, we'll keep in touch. Wish us luck and I'll keep you guys in the loop. Have the best day.